We're about to have a crack at cycle touring from Vienna to Budapest. We're currently traveling around Europe and have come to Vienna to give this ride a go. We're just walk into the bike shop. We rented some bikes, loaded our gear on board. Put the gear on. And set off. Let's do it, Caitlin. We'll be cycling along the popular Eurovelo 6 path that follows the Danube River. The track will lead us out of Austria, across the border to Slovakia's capital Bratislava, and then through regional Hungary before finishing in their capital city, Budapest. That's three countries, three capital cities, and over 370 kilometers of riding. I'm no rider, and I've barely ridden longer than 20 kilometers in one go before. This will be our biggest and most enduring adventure yet. I'm not this again. I've had a few cries today. I don't know how Zach convinced me to do this, but stick around and see how it all plays out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bit busy trying to get out of Vienna. We're still getting used to the bikes, used to the weight. We're going all right. To help Caitlin out, we hired her an e-bike to give her a bit of a boost along the track. And here it is, the Danube River. Yep. Today we're doing, aiming for about 40 k's. It's uh, currently 2 p.m. and we've done five. <laughs> so we've got 35 to go. Don't know where we're sleeping yet. We are planning to camp along the way, but we'll see what we can find at our destination tonight. I think it'll be good once we get out in the open track. Looking forward to it. To help guide us on our journey, we also picked up the guidebook which has the cycle path map and notes about the ride. Off we go. Let's do it. Are you still going the right way? Yeah, you can only go one way. There it is, Eurovelo 6. That is our track that we will be following. I think we're lost, Caitlin. Who's leading here? I was following you. Classic Zach. What have we done? We've gone a fair ways <laughs> past where we're supposed to be. Of course we have. How far do you reckon? About one kilometre, I'd say. Do you remember that ad? No, two kilometres, I think. <laughs> oh. Do you remember that ad where they're like, not happy? Jan! Plus, this whole book's in German. I can't read this. All right, I think we're back on track. Some guy yelled at us the direction, so... Should be right now. Hey, Zach? It says straight, go straight. No more wrong turns today, Caitlin. <laughs> we'll read every side from now on and not get started by the naked man showering. We're that was in Europe now. That was the real reason we missed the turn. <laughs> we come around this corner and there's a naked, man. a naked man just standing there. And it was right next to the sign, so we, I didn't <laughs> want to make any eye contact. So we ended up going straight. What? Anyways, we're on track now. We're about halfway for today's ride and we're going pretty strong. How do you feel, Caitlin? Oh, my bum hurts already. I think that'll be the first couple days. Anyways, we continue onwards. Hainberg is our heading before we get to Bratislava in Slovakia. And the track turns into gravel. We're on the gravel. Caitlin leading the way. Trying to find accommodation along the way. Uh, looking at the maps, I fear I might have got my distances wrong and we're actually riding further than first thought today. Hinted that to Caitlin, she didn't like it. The face didn't necessarily look happy. But anyways, we'll keep going till we get there. We're in no rush. No worries.
starting to feel a bit heavy. Getting close to tonight's destination. Ooh. Hay fever's uh, kicking in. But we've only got about 15 k's to our stop for tonight. Made it to our first campsite. It's pretty, pretty flash camp. We met a couple from Germany. They're riding from Germany to New Zealand, which is so crazy. Makes our little ride feel little. Anyways, we're just glamping tonight, um, just because it was quick, easy, and we're still finding our feet with this bike touring business. So we're gonna go down, find some food, and just knock off for the day. Knackered. 60 kilometers we did. 63. We, 63 kilometers. I thought it was only going to be 40, but here we are, we've done 60. So tomorrow should be a lot smaller. I'll double check that, but that's what I think. All right, let's see what day two brings. Let's eat. Let's eat. Day two on the, riding the Danu. Today we're going to be riding to Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia. And uh, hopefully today isn't as long as yesterday. Yeah, Zach. Oh, my, my bum. Bratislava, 17.8 kilometers that way, guys. Turns out there's snakes here. That's an Austrian snake, Caitlin. Oh. Well, we have only made it 10 kilometers and it's breakfast slash lunch time. Zach broke up with a migraine, that's important to say. So yeah. we've just been relaxing. We'll see how far we get today. Sounds good. We're now in our eighth country, Slovakia. We have sore bums and sore legs. Just going over the bridge to Bratislava. And there's the Danu River. How good is that? All right, let's find a drink. Well, how do you feel, Caitlin? It's been tough 20 kilometers, hasn't it? Let's be honest here. Yeah. We've had a few cries today. <laughs> Yesterday has taken it out of us a little bit, but that's all right. I think we're going good. Just got to have a break, check out Bratislava, and then we'll see what we want to do. We should note, we've not trained or prepared for this ride at all. There's a sign with Comic Sands. Well, we're at campsite number two. Our plans haven't really worked out so far. We are just Spending a little bit more time here than planned. So we're just booked into an Airbnb. Hopefully get going a little bit earlier tomorrow and tomorrow should be about 46, 50 kilometers. But anyways, nice to be here in Slovakia, our eighth country on our overseas journey. All right, day three of riding the Danu River and energy and uh, what do you call it? Motivation is running a little bit low. Um, dealing with a few migraines at the moment myself, so I'm not feeling 100%. Caitlin, 
She's um, never ridden so far in my life. She's she's really powering on. She's really doing well. We're we're going all right. We're just we're not in prime condition. That's for sure. Anything to add, Caitlin? Now let's go. Oh, Today we will be crossing over into Hungary and aiming to get to a town called Mosin Magai River. And we're up and running. We're on our way. Got a good tailwind today. Just having some energy food. Going good. There's a nudist beach just over there. But we just stopped at this map and you can see Hainberg is where we sort of we sort of stayed over here and then into um, Bratislava and then we come down the track and we are currently just here about to get to Rajka, Rika, however you say it. How are you feeling Caitlin? Good. Uh, there's a lot of pollen out flying today. Okay. Day three is the comeback day. All right, let me blow my nose. Okay. Going good. Welcome to Hungary. Oh shoot. This is now our ninth country, Hungary. We've made it into Rajka. Where is everyone? We're in a deserted town. Servo stop before we follow the highway. So currently here, we're about to follow the highway into Mosin Magai River, so about 16 kilometers. Nice smooth track, bit of tailwind, cruising along. There you go, we've made it to Mosin Magai River. Oh, it's bumpy. Well, we've decided to leave Mosin Magai River. And we're gonna push on, we're feeling pretty good. And uh, just gonna see if we can get another 15, 20 Ks. We've actually been having a good day on the bikes. Beautiful bit of road lined with these trees. We've made it. Yep. Looks empty. Hope it's open. We've done it. We've made it to Lipot. And we're gonna set up here and have a breather. Good day. Considering this morning's um, feelings, I think we've done pretty well. Well, just set up, having some capsicum and hummus. And we're hiding out in the tent because it is mozzie infested outside. Day four of riding the Danube River. We're not really on the Danube anymore. We're leaving this campsite, which is just covered in mozzies. Hopefully we just get a few k's under the belt, looking to set up camp in Gior. But anyways, this is hump day. We're more than halfway. Fuel's expensive. Exchange right here is um, one Australian dollar equals 260 Hungarian forwards. They don't use the euro, unfortunately. Clear. Seems all right. Well, just made it to our city camp in Gior. About 25 kilometers today, and 
we're just about to set up the tent. Not a bad little campsite in someone's backyard. Let's go find some food after we do this. Always hungry on this trip. Okay. After some careful navigating to get out of Gyor, we found the Yerovelo signs again. Yep. Puffed. There's our track. Oh, that was an uphill section. Haven't done uphill since Austria. Whew. The track is starting to look a bit rough. This bit of track looks a bit treacherous. A few bumps could be interesting. How you going, Caitlin? Yeah, all right. 40k to go today, is it? What are we doing today? 60 watts. Five. No, that's the bit you forgot to tell me, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit precarious. Oh, stop video, I need to focus where I'm going. Back on the tar. Oh no, it's more dirt. We have found the tar again. We're back on it. Ooh. So much better. Finally. Oh, a bit nervous there to get a pinch flat, but off we go. Caitlin's in touring mode, e-bike for the win. Why didn't I get an e-bike? All right. We've come to the uh, section we've just been a little bit concerned about this morning. We've just come down here, and now we're on this dotted line here, which is the high traffic section of the track, which is this road. We've seen a few trucks already and cars, but the arrow says to go along it, so not a whole lot of room for cars to overtake, but we're just going to take our time and um, just get across it, eh? We got given these high-vis vests with the bikes, so thought I'd just put it on, stay visible on the road. We're not here to look good, we're here to look smart. Or be smart, we're here to be smart. All right, let's just get it over and done with, eh? Let's do it. Not too bad, not too much traffic today. It's a Sunday. It's also a public holiday. So we're cruising through, it's feeling pretty safe for now, thankfully, uh, but not sure what it'd be like on a busier day. Could see the dangers in this. But anyways, cruising along. We've done it. We've done the highway section. A few cars, not too bad. I think we had a really good run. Good work. Smashed it. It's not over yet, right? No, but that's the bulk of it. All right. Oh no. Oh, bike's falling everywhere. Eurovelo 6, you can barely see that sign. And uh, this track in the book is marked as bad surface. Let's see how we go. Oh dear. Some great Hungarian trail. We later discovered there might be a reason why that sign was so faded, but more on that later. We're still on the dirt track. Don't know how long this is gonna go for, but looks like it goes on for a bit on the map. We're just taking it easy. Don't want to get a pinch flat. Don't want to get any thistles or, yeah, breeze is good, sunny day. But we're on the, our way to Komarom. We found Solid ground, well, almost. Way better than what we've just been on. Caitlin's cooling down, quite warm today. 
sun is out, and uh, now we're on this road. Where I'm going. Ah, not this again. The sign says straight ahead. Fair ink. Look at that, beautiful, smooth, flat ground. We're back on the road and getting sick of these dirt track parts. It's just with the load and not wanting to get a flat tire. and It's just not ideal. Not far from Comorom and um, we'll decide if we push on a little bit further or if we find somewhere to stay in there. Found food. Traditional Hungarian langos. Our first one. Caitlin is fried. We've made it to Komarom. This is us tonight. I think we're cooked. We're done. Had enough. We'll just park where it says no parking. Well. We've arrived at our campsite. It wasn't that camping sign that you just saw. It was around the corner. No one can speak English. We can't speak Hungarian or German. We feel bad, but we just, we can't speak it. We're from the other side of the world. What a day. It's been a big one, 60K day. We didn't go as far as we wanted to, but we just sort of were knackered. It's hot. There's nowhere open to buy sunscreen. There's nowhere open to buy hay fever It's a public, a public holiday, so yeah, nothing is open. And tomorrow there's another public holiday, so... Anyways, so we've come to the campsite. Plenty of people do on the ride. And we started talking to um, some people over, just camped over there. And one of them we, we saw we at the previous campsite in Gior. And talking to them, they said that they didn't go through any dirt tracks or any rough pothole roads. We were following the signs, but so were they. And apparently there's this new Fandangle road that is like only one year old, smooth, fast, and... And she's been here for two hours in the thermal pools. And we've only just arrived, and we somehow missed it. So, so much for the book. The book's seven years old, and... But we missed a sign somewhere. Because we went the old way, the hard way. Don't know where we went wrong, but apparently there's a new track. Don't do what we did. Yeah. Anyways, most of the track. Oh, and is there's nowhere open for food as well. Until we found those few little spots along the way at our Langos. Anyways, I think the ride is actually like it is easy riding. You don't need high skill level to ride the track. But at the end of the day, you're still riding 300 kilometers over seven days. It's like, it's a bit of an endurance event. So while anyone can do it. 20 kilos on our back. It's mm -hmm. still a challenge for us. And we're enjoying it. We're gonna get to Budapest and be like, that was so good, but we're just feeling knackered for now. So anyways, that's all we had to say. Two more days to go. About a hundred and something kilometers to go. All right, <laughs> signing off. Day six, let's go. Nothing's open again. We will find food somewhere. Big day today, 70k, 11 o'clock. Better get into it. We found a servo, got some snacks. Caitlin's increased her load. Got the chippy strapped on. We're on the way to Estradorm which is our sort of next major target. Hoping to get beyond that tonight for our camp. And only 
40, 50 k's tomorrow to Budapest. See how we go. Langos number two. We made a deal. If we see food, we stop because who Can't knows guarantee. when we'll see it again. So we got Langos. <laughs> There's no vegetarian at the other place. Except I saw a kid eating pickles and bread. Mm -mm. Well, that's going to be a killer to the Strava time. Oh well. We're back on the main road again. It's not the best track. I hope we haven't missed a turn again. Gee. And the sky in the distance does not look good. Just hearing some thunder. It's pretty grey. We're going against the wind, so hopefully we sort of miss it. A bit nerve wracking. Don't really want to get rained on. Anyways, I'm just cracking on. I just hit 30 k's for today. At least the sun's sort of tucked away for a moment. Which is making it a bit cooler. Estragorm, 15 kilometers. We've escaped the rain. We've nearly made this to go. Just clocked over 50 k's. We're on a busy road right now. I better concentrate. We've just left Estragorm and um, we've decided to push on to Domos, which will hopefully dramatically decrease our final leg tomorrow to Budapest. Uh, so we just got another 20 k's in us. Hopefully uh, we can get it done all right. Cheers. Just putting up the tent, finishing the day. Got ourselves a Coke and for celebrating our biggest day of riding, 72 kilometers. One more day, getting keen, chilling out, get a good night's rest. About 50 kilometers tomorrow, I think. So story time. Last night when we checked into our campsite, the um, lady there couldn't speak English at all. I was like, oh, do you have somewhere for the night? And she goes, no, and I was like, tent. And she's like, oh, yes. <laughs> anyway, she goes, um, asking me if we wanted one or two and then trying to ask all, me, all these questions and then trying to explain the campsite to me and everything. But I had no idea and we had, she had no idea. And she, like, we were both just laughing because it was like, we just wanted to be able to talk to each other, but we couldn't. Anyway, we checked out this morning and then she was sitting there on the gate. On the way out, she like stopped me and she gave me a hug. And she was like, bye. And then she went over to Zach and gave Zach a hug too. Yeah, it was very out of the blue. It was a good little morning boost, especially after not being able to find any food for breakfast. Oh yeah, everything's closed. Very friendly, very friendly people here. <laughs> Anyways, we'll wrap it up tonight and uh, finish it off tomorrow. Yeah. Very excited. Day seven, the final day of our ride. I just wanted to show you the bikes. So Caitlin's been riding this KTM e-bike, which has been really good, giving her a bit of a boost. Yeah, really sturdy bike. Battery has lasted. We've charged it every night, but they reckon about 100, 150 Ks out of the battery. Got the screen and controls there. Pretty good. Got the panniers on the back. Um, two 40 litre panniers. And you've got the rack at the back, which where the tent has been sitting. And you've got the fenders to stop all the mud and dust, as you can see. And then I have been riding this KTM analog bike. It's cruised along very nicely. The reason we put Caitlin on the e-bike was she just hasn't had the riding experience and hasn't done much riding, so it was really about just giving it the best possible chance of completing this ride so I'm really glad that we got her the e-bike 
Why didn't I get an e-bike? Well, I think having done a bit more riding myself, I felt like I wanted the challenge of completing it on a regular bike. And also, it was cheaper. So anyways, we're just gonna finish packing up here and we'll get going. Hopefully be gone by 11 o'clock. So we should be pulling in by 3, 3 30, 4 o'clock. It's finishing day. We're going to the end. We're going to Budapest. Caitlin's wearing high vis for the first time. So that's exciting. Budapest. That's where we're going. Let's do this. Well, we're on the final stretch, kind of. Stretch being 25 kilometers, but feeling very good about it. Just finished the last of the road sections, I think. A bit nerve wracking. Uh, now we're on this bumpy track, so I don't know what's worse. We're trying to enjoy it amongst the hay fever and headaches and... And now cramps. And Caitlin's got cramps. Another snack stop. <laughs> Alright, let's get back on the bike. The rain looks like it's coming. We've done it. We've made it to Budapest. Seven days. I think we've done 370 kilometers total. And we're here, we've made it. How good. There's the river. The river we've been following, but haven't seen the whole time. And there's the Eurovelo 6 sign we've been following. And we're just cruising along here for a few kilometers cross over one of those bridges and uh, we'll return these bikes. Mission accomplished. We're leaving Buddha and heading over to Pest, the other side of the Danube River. Haven't crossed this since uh, Slovakia. Have a go with that. I'm like sad now, We're giving up our bikes, back to walking everywhere. It was fun while it lasted. Let's get an ice cream. <laughs> well, we've finished the ride and we're celebrating with ice cream. Looking back, we experienced a lot, we saw a lot and really glad that we did it. Here we are in Budapest and uh, we'll see what next stage of our travel brings. Anything else to add, Caitlin? No, just hurry up and try the ice cream. <laughs> Two people with no idea. I think the river's called the Danube, not the Danube. I mean, we're the Danubes, but this trip hasn't been. <coughs> You're a bit short there, Caitlin. Gee, my butt hurts. Kangaroos, next 12 kilometers. What? When we bought this, yeah, we were just about to leave. Someone comes and tries to give us socks. Don't worry, we have enough socks for the ride. We must look like we need socks. Bit of a road section, narrow bike path on the road. Huh? Keep going. I oh, was just talking to the camera. Just talking to the camera. We've just left. Talking to the camera. 
running on chips at the moment. Bumpity, bumpity, bumpity. It's just stuff everywhere. Here's Kate, huh? Do you want a gentle cycle or...? Doing the washing. A win! The cycle track is back. Look at the sign. Look at the sign. Check out my leg. Check out Caitlin's leg. It is maybe more than sunburn. I think something's bitten in that. What have we got there? No, I have nothing to say to you. Caitlin's had enough.